Thank you for nominating me. I would say challenge accepted. Uh, I'm very glad you did nominate me though, as this is uh, not only a subject that I take very seriously, uh, but it's a subject that we have a clear opportunity at RB and one at RB Mexico and Central America. And more importantly, I believe it's a subject that I can have a direct impact uh, on. And so I, I'm, I'm very glad you, uh, you nominated me and I'd like to share a story as well. Uh, I had a, 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 I was a new manager and I had a, uh, a female employee that was struggling with uh, that typical thing when you get to, you know, middle management of juggling life and family and work and, and all the other things that happen uh, when you get to that age with multiple children in the household. And the, the, the discussion we had was around flexible work uh, schedule. And it was one that I was, at the time, not as prepared to deal with as I would have liked to. Uh, but we worked on it together. And it was an, it was an interesting outcome because uh, we put together a schedule which was uh, atypical from the rest of the team. Um, but the, the result was better than anyone could have expected. She turned out to be uh, the top talent on the team, delivered the best results, and most importantly, was the highest engaged and the most loyal to the company. And uh, it really goes to show that you, you start working on um, giving flexibility to people and uh, it really opens up their careers. So uh, again, thank you for the nomination. I too would like to nominate a few people, Chris Vera Luna, Betty Alape, and Felipe Garcia Moreno from the Mexican office and Mario Espaleta from the Central America office. I'd like to challenge you.